Well, beautiful and <laughs> punctual. I like that in an employee. Well, good morning, Mr. Quartermain. Uh, I thought we handled that yesterday. You call me Edward. After all, we're, we're practically family. Well, in that case, thank you for this opportunity, Edward. I really do appreciate it. Well, you are a bright, focused young woman in any... Any company would be very fortunate to have you. Yes, but ELQ is not just any company. It's oh. a market leader with divisions in 17 different countries. Oh, I see. You've done your homework. <laughs> <laughs> you keep that up, and we'll be climbing that corporate ladder in no time. So, anything else you need to know before we get started? Well, um, I'm glad you asked. Actually, there is, yes. I would like you to tell Jason exactly what you told me. About the job? No, about the baby. You know, the one you keep pushing her to have? Don't be ridiculous. Nobody's pushing you into anything, are they, young lady? I would like to think that you hired me because you think I'd be an asset to your company, not to its nursery. What on earth gave you that impression? Well, yesterday, when, when we were talking, you said that you hoped that Jason and I had a, a child so you can assure its future. Boy or girl, you would make it your heir. Look, I was merely pointing out the fact that if Jason has a child, it would be a quarter main by virtue of birth. Why point it out at all? I don't see why you are making such a fuss about this. Given your line of work, I should think you'd be glad to have a child with a stable and legitimate inheritance. I've devoted my life to EOQ in hopes that this family would have something to, to pass on to future generations, and I would like to think that you would want to do the same with your children. But that's not the reason I hired Sam. Okay, then why did you? Because I like your potential. You are an intelligent young woman and you're determined to make something of yourself. Listen to me. EOQ can open doors for you that you never imagined. In exchange for what? Hard work. I need someone with, with street smarts and, and business savvy. And this arrangement will benefit both of us, believe me. Okay, I wanted you to hear this so you know what I'm dealing with. Do you think he's working me? Yeah. Now listen to me, both of you. I have been completely straightforward about my intentions. I do like Sam, and I do hope she has your child. And I do intend to offer that child every conceivable opportunity. Oh, you should do what you want to do. I'll take the job. Good. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, where do we start? Well, I'd like to start with a few ground rules. I do not appreciate being put on the hot seat like that. Okay, fair enough. But I don't appreciate being used as a tool to get to Jason. All right. That's fine. So, let's get started because I have great plans for you. And we have these forms to fill out. You can put your name on them. And then with Alcazar out of commission, we can go ahead and start paying shipments. All right, well, I'll call Bernie, tell him to resume operations. While you're at it, have Bernie send me a list of everybody who was in or around the coffee shop the day of the shooting. If we can prove that Alcazar came in there with intent to kill, Rick has no case. Yeah, that would be the best thing for everyone. Did Carly come to see you? Uh, no, not yet. Well, she will be, because Rick had her subpoenaed. If we don't get married by Monday... She has to make a statement. Okay. Listen. No, no, I know, I know, because Max already gave me the third degree. He, he thinks, you know, it's unfair that I'm pushing Carly. Look, Carly is going to marry you to protect you legally, okay? But she doesn't want it to go any further. Why? Because she's so in love with, with Jax? You tell me, deep down inside, do you really believe she'll be happy with Jax? Yeah, that, tell me, that's, that's all not, I want you to do. It's not my problem. If you want to make it your problem, that's up to you. But she listens to you. you. You need to convince her to marry me by Tuesday. This case is going to go to trial whether Agnes or dies or not. I've already been tried for attempted murder against him once before. She feels like the previous incident would be admissible because it establishes motive. The guy was holding a gun. Yeah, but I could have planted it on him. Case is strong, Jason. 
And if, if Carly testifies, I'm, a, oh, I'm done. She, she won't. Yes, she will, because she's in, you know, she wants to be with Jack. She wants to have kids with Jack. She wants to... So cold. I'm so glad you're home. Wait till oh, you see what... Oh. We're in the middle of something here, okay? You make it quick. Uh, um, no offense, Mr. Corintho, sir, but it is most unrighteous to clip the wings off a golden Valkyrie and trap her in unholy matrimony in your personal underworld. Do you have any idea half of what he says? I think Carly was here. Yeah, and, and seriously upset about her impending nuptials. I mean, she wanted Stone Cold to save her here, but since you were busy, I provided assistance instead. What kind of assistance? Did you warn him about Carly, Jason? Yeah, that she's a super hot... No, my super... wife, ex-wife. Well, no, Mr. Corintho, sir. Yeah. The Valkyrie's not your wife. And, and in fact, she seems quite determined on never being so Spinelli, again. Spinelli, what saying... kind of assistance did you give Carly? EOQ makes pet products? Hmm, we do now. Last year, pet spending topped 35 billion. And it's one of the few markets that isn't dependent on interest rates or fuel prices. <laughs> and it's much safer than condoms. Why not pair the manufacturer with this trucking division? You'd bring in more profit by keeping it all in-house. That's very astute. Well, when you work in salvage, you find multiple ways to save as much money as possible. Oh, God, that I can't I wait for you to go by EOQ and see what you can salvage I'll, there. I'll go down as soon as Absolutely possible. not. If you want this trash to have Jason's baby, then pay her off and be done with it. Do not embarrass this family by having her wander the halls at ELQ. Careful, Tracy. Your desperation is showing. You know that if Jason produces a child, that your son, the nincompoop, will be out of the running. Dylan is not a nincompoop, and you have gone way past desperate. In fact, you are rapidly approaching pathetic. Jason wants nothing to do with you. And hiring his barely literate bed warmer is going to do nothing to bring him or his hypothetical children home to roost. Sam stays. Fine. See that she has as little to do with the corporate staff as possible. I have what it takes to do this job. Apparently what you don't have is any pride. Tracy is going to be your trial by fire. You survive her, and you'll be able to withstand anything that's thrown at you. When do you know where Carly went? Yo, yeah, just stave off her impending doom. I mean, just think about it, dude. She can't hitch up with Mr. Corinthos, sir, when her, her true happiness lies with the White Knight. I mean, that would be a disaster of every proportion. If this fruit cup says one more thing about me and Carly, I swear to you, I will no, kick him in the head. Peace. Mr. Corinthosura, Jackal has wisdom. I do. Ooh, ooh, check it out. That's the back, that's the back alley. And those are the back stairs. And wait for it. Uh, look familiar? The lobby. Yeah, and yeah, look, you can do it. You can do a split screen too. It's it's pretty rad, huh? Yeah, rad. How'd you do it? Oh, I just made a few discreet holes and spliced some cables together and hacked into the building surveillance system. And see, now the goddess can exit the patent supreme. Okay, all right, listen. Hey, hey. You need to tell me what you said to Carly and where she is. And I need specifics. I need a place and I need a name. No, 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 no worries. The Valkyrie is in large and in charge of her own destiny. It's all good. What does that mean? Well, it, the... Valkyrie, the one who you would shackle with marriage, is taking down the dastardly D.A. in a fierce fight for her freedom. Carly went after Rick. Mr. Quartermain has been very pleased with your company's performance this quarter. Yes, he'd like to set up a meeting to discuss ways to increase your market share. How's tomorrow at nine? Okay, wonderful. We'll see you then. <laughs> Oh, I knew you'd be a natural at this. <laughs> All I've done is set up a few appointments. Listen, don't let Tracy make you cynical. I've been very open about my reasons for wanting to keep you here, and she has been just as open about wanting to keep you away. But you have to develop a very thick skin where Tracy is concerned, because 
my unfortunate daughter has chosen you as her latest target, and she's going to be gunning for you. Well, Edward, danger is relative, and I'm not afraid of Tracy. <laughs> I like your style. <laughs> <laughs> I expect this to be handled with the utmost discretion. Samantha McCall. I want you to dig up every sordid piece of dirt you can on my father's new executive assistant. One I'll keep to myself if you drop all the charges against Senate. Okay. Carly, come on. We're leaving. No, Let's I'm about to make a deal with Rick. Oh, that we are. See, unfortunately, Carly, you're wrong about me trying to kill Alcazar. See, at the time of the incident, I was with the state attorney general's office, along with 20 other witnesses who... Then you had someone else do it, Rick. I didn't commit any crimes. Yes, you, you did. however, just did. You see, your loyal little ex-wife here and just blackmailed me into trying to drop the charges against you. That's called extortion, sweetie. I'd love to see you prove it, Rick. How am I doing so far? 